Elon Musk's all-new hydrogen car shocks the entire car industry. Previously turning down the idea of hydrogen cars and calling them fool's cells and mind-boggling stupid, Elon Musk has shocked the entire car industry by introducing the new Tesla hydrogen car. So what changed his mind? How was he able to make such an invention? And what does it mean for the future? Stay tuned to the video to find out. In this video, we will learn the truth about hydrogen cars, their benefits, comparison, and a shocking revelation by Elon Musk about it. Though Musk was against the production of hydrogen-powered batteries, the terminal problems encountered in the mass production of the 4680 battery changed the brilliant mind. Elon Musk surprised his Twitter followers this morning when he revealed that despite his earlier doubts, he would be transitioning Tesla from batteries to hydrogen power in 2024. He added that the Model H will be the name of the first automobile to arrive using hydrogen fuel. Let us first discuss the comparison between hydrogen car and an electric car and which is faster, better, and more sustainable. Driving Range a Korean hydrogen-powered vehicle, the Hyundai Nexo, has a range of about 330 miles, 550 kilometers, which is comparable to the best electric vehicle of its kind, the Tesla Model S. However, it can be challenging to estimate these cars' driving ranges. Car range depends on various factors, like the number of passengers the car is carrying, whether the air conditioning is on or off, whether the automobile is on a high road or is backed up in traffic in the city center and the type of vehicle itself. Because each person's unique combination of all these factors is distinct, various people have been reporting varied experiences. However, because hydrogen vehicles pack their energy storage so tightly, they can frequently go farther distances. While the majority of fully electric cars have a 100 to 200 mile range on a single battery charge, hydrogen cars have a 300 mile range. Available Power or Refueling Stations By December 2018, there were 20,000 electric charging stations in the United States. The number of EV power stations is increasing daily. Significant amounts when contrasted to the U.S.'s relatively few, just under 45 hydrogen refueling infrastructures, mostly localized in California, hydrogen vehicles, are far behind electric vehicles in terms of infrastructure availability and technology. Powering Refueling Time In comparison to electric automobiles, the time it takes to pump hydrogen into the tank is 5 to 10 minutes, just like any gasoline car, which is far more intriguing. The 120 kilowatt fast chargers used by Tesla can charge batteries to 80% capacity in 30 minutes. The charging times for the BMW i3 and Nissan Leaf, respectively, can be 4 to 8 hours. In the end, the charging station and the type of charging connector affect how long electric cars take to charge. Whatever the case, and even with Tulsa's most current V3 supercharger, which is still in beta testing in San Francisco, the hydrogen car has won out because one kilogram of hydrogen has a 236 times greater energy density than one kilogram of lithium-ion batteries. Limitations on Hydrogen Fuel as you see, hydrogen fuel is more beneficial than a lithium-ion battery. So what's stopping us from making hydrogen-fueled cars? Hydrogen fuel has some limitations that need to be overcome. The Earth does not contain pure hydrogen. Despite being the most abundant element in the universe, if we want to utilize it as fuel for our cars, we must make it from other substances, such as water, natural gas, other fossil fuels, or organic matter. For this process, we need to use energy, which requires us to spend some environmental and economic costs. On the one hand, we can produce hydrogen in an environmentally friendly manner by reversing the electrolysis of water. The problem is that the method of extracting H2O molecules to obtain hydrogen consumes a lot of energy, making it an expensive one. However, if this energy can be produced using renewable energy sources, such as the sun or wind, the net energy cycle can become very low in carbon, making the operation more environmentally benign. Another issue is the process's efficiency, which is only 75% effective and permits a 25% loss of electricity. Electrolysis is more expensive than natural gas reforming, which is how most hydrogen fuel is produced today. 
The drawback is that the process produces hazardous byproducts like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, which contribute to global warming. Methane leaks during the extraction of natural gas are also not uncommon, even though they are becoming less common. Furthermore, these molecules account for around 25% of the world's GHG emissions, making them 86 times worse than CO2 in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. Fracking, the technique used to produce natural gas, frequently has a negative influence on the environment and threatens biodiversity, ecosystems, and water quality. It could even trigger small earthquakes. Let's talk about the Tesla hydrogen car, Model H, and its main features. The Model H will be a vehicle in the crossover class, which has grown to be one of the most well-liked body types currently on the market and lies halfway between the Model X and the Model Y in terms of size. In keeping with the Musk legacy, the Model H will contain groundbreaking features with Hindenburg mode, a function derived from SpaceX technology, serving as the flagship feature. The Model H will supposedly be able to reach 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds thanks to this system, which employs onboard hydrogen to produce a rocket-based blazing speed boost. But even with a more economical driving style, the WLTP-rated 451-mile range will be quickly depleted. With a 7-seat option and a distinct focus on passenger comfort on lengthy trips, the Model H will be a 5-seater to provide passengers with cool refreshments. The fuel cell's water output can be pumped into the vehicle. Chain reaction, cold fusion, fire from water, element 1, and Dr. Teller's very large bomb are just a few of the great films and documentaries that will be preloaded onto the AMD Ryzen-powered entertainment system. Both front and backseat occupants can play the Dyson Sphere program game. In other news, the Tesla Model 2 will also be a hydrogen-powered car. According to Tesla sources, the highly anticipated Model 2, which will now also operate on hydrogen and provide a predicted 400-mile range and compact hatchback configuration, will be released in 2025 after Model H. This is meant to reduce the cost of ownership by hydrogen cars, which are now more expensive to buy than electric cars and whose fuel costs are even higher than those of combustion engines. The Model O, or the Oldster, the most daring vehicle in the new Tesla hydrogen lineup, will finally be available in 2027. It will have an improved Hindenburg mode that will allow for a 0.2 second acceleration to 60 miles per hour. A unique medicine designed to counteract the G-force and prevent aneurysms must be taken at least 30 minutes before an acceleration to activate this mode. Additionally, passengers must be buckled into the gel-based crash seats that have been specially constructed for this model. Tesla's supercharger network will gradually be phased out in favor of hydrogen fuel pumps known as protium shake stations as Model H, 2, and O become available. If any other manufacturers decide to produce one, these stations will be offered to all hydrogen-powered vehicles from the start. Musk is making the new isotope age in which Tesla will also look into using deuterium and tritium variations of hydrogen to power future automobiles. Musk is adopting a new yellow form of hydrogen made from genetically engineered lemons to combat the well-discussed efficiency of the fuel. On the other hand, the vehicle manufacturers are happy with the double standard Elon Musk has shown. Toyota spokesperson John Shunt believes the Elon plan all along was to make us abandon the idea and claim it as his own. We must wait and watch what transpires while new strategies for hydrogen production, such as the proton exchange membrane, are being developed. According to scientists, this technology may eventually achieve an efficiency of 86%. Once further studies are released determining whether it's more efficient to use this surplus energy in dams or produce hydrogen, it may be possible to use for hydrogen production and to develop some hybrid versions of hydrogen lithium ion cars. As of right now, electric vehicles are more widely available in terms of automobile kinds and charging stations. In comparison to hydrogen-powered automobiles, they use more efficient procedures, and if their lithium batteries are reused for other purposes, they are likely to remain a more sustainable alternative, at least for the foreseeable future. This ends our video for today. What do you think about hydrogen cars? Will they be able to replace electric cars or not? Tell us in the comments. Like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel for more Tesla news. See you in the next video.